The accessory two-pack line surges on, now going into its third year. Believe it or not, these things were started in July of 2022, and Mattel has been consistently releasing new ones ever since. And if they are going to continue to do these Piston Cup combos that they've shown now, they're kind of starting a trend with them. I am absolutely all here for it. I was a little skeptical when they were doing the Salt Flats Racers. They did a bunch of McQueen combos. They had the Doc and Leroy pack. It seemed rather directionless. But now we did the Murray Clutchburn Sage Vanderspin pack. And here we have Dave Alternators and Winford Bradford Rutherford. Two classic Cars 1 Piston Cop Racers. And man, would I absolutely love to see them just do all the Piston Cop Racers. Get some really cool graphics and flags out of it. And maybe, who knows, this is maybe how we get Eugene Carb Rescue, Ernie Gerson, Ryan Shields from Thailand. It very well could happen. We'll see how it goes. And maybe they'll even dip their toes into more Cars 3 stock cars and next gens. But yeah, guys, very excited here to be reviewing today the Revolting and RPM Accessory 2-Pack just now hitting Walmart stores in the United States. I don't really think these are sold anywhere else, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think they are in Walmart stores in Canada as well, probably maybe down in Mexico, but definitely the U.S. and Canada. Hopefully this wave hits Canada soon, but it does only include this pack as the new one. I will briefly show you on the back. They did do McQueen, Fabulous McQueen, and Danico Cruz, Cars 1 McQueen and the King in the new packaging, the red riders but the darker you know with the red behind the blister and also Niall Speedcone and Gearston Marshall I think that's the combo right I don't know why I'm blanking I think it's Niall and yeah somebody some other salt flats racer on new packaging so yeah if you're a variant you know car collector you're gonna have to pick these up and yeah they're not cheap at like 10 11 bucks but this one is definitely worth it to me for you know two like I said classic iconic piston cut racers Revolting and RPM. Also have to commend them for getting the names correct. Even though they have changed Revolting's name from Davey Apex to Dave Alternators and they accidentally called him TG Castle at one time, who's the Cars 3 Revolting Racer. We all know what they've done to win for Bradford Rutherford before, calling him Bruce Miller, vice versa. But yeah. They got the artworks correct, they got the names correct. These are two awesome characters, and let's rip it open. All right, here we go. Now, real quick, I just have to mention, I can't believe I'm talking about this, but it is kind of noteworthy that the accessory two packs are one of the last remaining lines that actually uses physical name tag inserts and the name is not just printed on the card itself. So this is kind of a big deal. But man, these guys look great out of the package. I will say it's a little unfortunate that I happen to have both of these already open as Thailand variants. That is kind of rare, you know, as you can see, I've still been reviewing a lot of the older Thailand Piston Cop racers with their second release, like Kevin Racing Tire, Kevin Shift Right, Lee Revkins, you know, a lot of these that I didn't get the first time, but now I'm opening them um, the second time around. Well, these I already have open, so it doesn't really matter. I did review both of them in the last year and a half. So I will leave the links in the description below and card session pop up in the top right hand corner. Both came out in 2022. I did Winford as soon as he was released that summer. I did Davey or Dave later on in that year just because he wasn't a big priority for me. And yeah, Lee Revkins is still waiting to be reviewed and he's 2023. So we'll get to him eventually. I want to do Tom Marcus though in a couple days from KC of 2024. But yeah, we will do a comparison between the Tylo and variants and see if anything has changed since then. I can already kind of see some coloring. But before we get to that, I do want to just let you guys splurge on into the accessories. I mean, that is what we're here for after all. And I have to say, I am so happy with the color choice for this flag. I'm so thrilled they went with a black background. It just looks so sick. 
Now you can argue like it's pretty much just taken right off the side of the vehicle, but that's not usually how they do it. They you know select a certain color, and this just is very unique for revolting. You don't really see them use the black all that much, but it just looks really good. Provides some nice contrast for the overall white, gray, and red vehicle. And as you guys know, you have these plastic cones that you can insert the flag into and it will not come out. You know, it's really nice actually. This is how I display them because you can't really just lay the flag on the ground and make it look that good. So I'm really glad that they provided some functionality of this. They are the hard squared off cones. Mattel has released a lot of different varieties of cones over the last five, six, seven years in advent calendars, the movie moment set, and regular singles like with Millie, for example, and also with Jessica Carville coming up. Those two that I just mentioned have rounded striped cones. A lot of the ones in the movie moments were rubbery advent calendars too, but these are hard plastic. You cannot really bend these at all. They are very, very stiff. And you know, hey, I don't mind that they provide different cones and a lot of these things, it switches it up a little bit. Here we have his sticker. Yes, these are stickers. I was complaining last time that they actually had the like brand of the sticker name on the back here. It was like the label paper. I guess it's more the label paper brand, you know what I mean? And you could see the tax written on some of them just because of the way the label, you know, the printer paper was cut and all that. You can't see it on the back of either of these, which is a huge win because it really bothered me last time. It's like, what the hell? This looks so cheap and tacky. It literally looks like I just printed it off from my local Staples. But again, just great choice on this. I know you might be thinking, hey, Mr. Doc, I could literally just go in Microsoft Word and make something up like this, but it's not that easy to make something look clean and nice, high quality, and these really do. Obviously, I don't use them as stickers. I use them more as the bonus collector cards of 2017 and 2018 that were included with some of the singles just because they make for such great like thumbnail, you know, father using them in the background and all that stuff. So, yeah, I love the black trim clean red you have the revolting logo and a nice bold with the black shadow and rebuilt alternators now honestly it looks way better than it does on dave's hood himself there it's you know a little grainy not quite as crisp but yeah the black border really was a surprise to me i like that quite a bit it looks so good it's just a sticker after all but hey you gotta give mattel props for some of these things and now again with Winford's flag here, another great choice with the color, kind of out of left field. You would think they would definitely do it in yellow, if not orange. They went with blue. It just looks so good. I think they look at the, you know, they take the number right off the side of the car. Okay, it's white with some orange trim. What color would look best behind it? And yeah, blue is definitely the choice here. Looks really great. And again, like I said with Dave, provides great contrast to the yellow on Winford here. So really thrilled about that. Now his sticker is a little bit more basic. It really is just his logo copy and pasted, but you know, they get the job done. They didn't screw it up. And I have to commend them for that. Nighttime backfire suppressant. Love the little fart cloud coming out the back pretty much. But just really vibrant colors too, because you can see on the hood there, the yellow is a little washed out. It's more lemony. This is a pure bright yellow, and I really like it. And then let's put his flag in his cone here. You could obviously interchange the cones though. That doesn't matter. Awesome. And the decals on these are great. And I make note of that because the one I had for Murray Clutchburn was not as good. There were a couple of gashes in it. Yeah, on this side here, you could see there's a gash there, big one there. Just not super high quality. I've had problems like that before with these. And yet, with Winford and Dave's, they are both perfect. So off to a really good start so far. Now we need to take a look to see if either of these differ from their original Thailand variants. And so I guess not original, fully original because they were released from Thailand at other points as well. But we're going to do at least for Dave here, compare him to his 2022 Thailand single release. That is going to be on the left there. And our new one is on the right. 
and I'm just going to let you guys kind of soak it in. And if I see anything that strikes me or pops out to me, I will speak out. But so far, everything looks pretty much the same. New version on the top. See if they improve the contingency sponsor clarity at all. Actually, I would argue they did. Look at the mood springs on the new one. Look at the mood springs on the old one. Look at the gas sprint on the old one and on the new one. It is, I mean, by no means great. By no means is as good as the Chinese version, right? Not even close. But it's better. It's marginally better, which is what you want to see. You want to see improvement. Now, is it just a fluke? Could be. Are they actually improving? Could be. Who knows? The rims look pretty much the same. You can see they always have these axle problems. You can see that the axle is sticking out quite a bit there. I'd say the 84 number looks a little crisper. Yeah, the text, the decals do look crisper. Like, look at the RE here compared to the RE there. Now, it's minor for sure, but there is a notable difference. We have the new version now on the right here. Window bars look maybe a little darker. They, yeah, bigger contrast here, black compared to a little bit lighter, more of a gray gradient there. This definitely makes the revolting text stand out more. See similar improvement for the contingency sponsors on this side as well. New versions on the right, remember? Maybe a little crisper, but pretty much the same. Good stuff. S47A is when this guy was produced for the 47th week of 2023 at the A Thailand factory. This one was R08. That was the eighth week of 2022. All right. Now I do want to briefly compare him to the Chinese version, which is going to be the Motor Speedway of the South version here. You guys know me. We don't mess around. I want to give you guys the best of the best. And in terms of paint quality, this certainly is. Davey Apex was first released in a four-pack, though, with the King, Light McQueen, I think it was Chick Hicks. Could have been another racer, but I have a distinct memory of getting him as a kid. My mom got me and surprised me with that pack. Great fond memory. It's still so distinct, you know, the exact location she gave it to me. And I think it came out in like 2008 or 2009, somewhere in there. And so I was like seven or eight years old, and yet I still remember it perfectly but yeah you could just see the contingency sponsors are still nowhere near what they should be but <laughs> i'll take any improvement i can get and you should too <laughs> some of the thailand racers with this model here really have gnarly expressions like i would say winford's not great i would say brush kerbers is not great but davies is actually pretty good i think it's an improvement with the black eyeliner over the original version. All right, let's move on to Winford here himself. So again, this is the new one, S47A. This is R08. Wow, that's crazy that this and the debut were made the same week, even though they were included in different cases for the most part. I don't think they ever overlapped. They might have overlapped, but... Davey was introduced and released a lot earlier that year than Winford was. Now, right off the bat, the older Winford here has a much purer shade of yellow again. It's not as washed out as the one on the right. Again, on the camera, it probably doesn't look as extreme, but trust me, there is a difference indeed. Yeah, wow. Definitely a lot more of a concentrated, like pulpier yellow. Decal looks pretty much the same. The eyes look pretty much the same. Maybe a little grainier, honestly. The white of the eye here is not as clear as it is on the other version, the older one. Let's 
see again the newer versions on the top it does look like they improved the contingency sponsors a little bit mildly it's funny that they have revolting here that is revolting right there and there but they just have the tax they don't have the background to it so it looks like it's a blue logo but it's just the white tax floating in the oh my goodness floating in the blue stripe they both have each other's contingency sponsor if you did not know all right Again, the new ones on the top. Zoom out here a little bit. Not really seeing as much different besides the overall shade of yellow. I love the two-tone window bars there, yellow and blue. Nighttime backfire suppressant. What a great description. Backfire suppressant. We all could use some of that, I would argue. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, so not as big of a difference between the two Winfords, I would argue. Them with the Davies or the Daves or the Dave Alternator or Apexes, whatever you want to call them. Whatever Mattel is calling them this week, honestly, it seems to change all the time. <laughs> but at least they got the name right and they're not calling them TG Castle. Now, that really would grind my gears. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Really happy with this set and I hope they continue to do more. I would be very surprised if this you know, ended up being the last one. I mean, it always is possible. It's happened in the past where, you know, surprise, surprise, you wake up one morning and, well, they uh, haven't released an accessory two-pack in <laughs> two years. And you can assume the line's been canceled at that point. But I don't think that's going to happen in this instance, this circumstance. I really hope not. I guess I did forget to compare Winford to his Chinese version. So I will do that real quick here. Chinese version on the right. Again, doesn't have that eyeliner, which is always the big difference with these racers. But yeah, the Chinese version is better, better decal quality. And even though the expression might not be as good, I would always lean toward the Chinese version on almost everything, but definitely Piston Cup racers because they are so decal heavy. You know, maybe you get to a car like Andy Vaporlock or, you know, Todd the Pizza Plant truck. That might be a different conversation, but when it comes to these... It's going to be hard to beat the Chinese version. All right, for reals, you guys, I don't have anything else. Yeah, what the hell? I don't have anything else to talk about. Really hope they do more of these, like I said. Would be very disappointed if they don't. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They always kind of seem to peg warm, so we'll see. I guess it is more up to Walmart if they decide to keep ordering them, right? All right, guys, take care. Bye now.